CatamaranCoach.com, the Wong Pocket Incision. This technique can help to seal a corneal incision. It's a really brilliant idea. So here's a routine cataract case and got a bisque glass going inside the eye. Now let's watch the main incision here. Here's where it's done. So first, creating a standard phaco incision there. Right at the limbal vessels, getting a good angle. Okay, there's the incision. Also nicking the lens capsule, by the way. And now there's the Wong incision. So an extra little pocket placed above the incision. So again, here's the replay. Here's the main phaco incision. A little bit on the short side, poking into the lens capsule. There we go. And now here's the Wong incision above it. So you're creating a second little pocket above your main incision here. And that's going to allow you to place pressure on the roof of the incision. At the end of the case here, you place hydration in that pocket that's above the main incision, and that pushes down onto the incision, the roof of the incision, to keep it sealed. So a really brilliant idea. And we featured this before, but I thought it was worthy of a repost. Now, remember, let me tell you about the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. The Cattle Coach Podcast is every week, everywhere you find your podcast services, and I promise you'll love it. Now, the cataract surgery here is relatively routine. We have a very experienced surgeon who's going to do a beautiful job here. And we see getting the phaco probe in the eye. Let's see the nucleofractus technique. And then I'll show you the end of the case, how the incision is sealed up. So again, the Wong pocket is an extra small incision, not full thickness, only partial, just to make a little pocket in the stroma in order to hydrate and create a pressure on top of the incision. Now, look at this. This is a very interesting technique. So stop and chop and stop and making two hemi-nuclear pieces and then using the chopper to tilt it up, kind of tilt it up out of the bag. I like it. This is a really neat technique. Beautiful use of the two hands in combination. Here comes the epinuclear shell. Clean that up quite nicely. Let's get through the rest of the case efficiently here. We'll speed the video up and then clean up the cortex and call this done. So again, the Wong pocket is creating a small, not penetrating, it's only partial depth pocket above your main incision in order to create a pocket where you can put more BSS and swell it up and cause pressure to push down on the roof of the incision in order to seal it here. So beautifully done. Clean up that capsule bag quite nicely here. Here comes some viscoelastic to fill up the bag. And now coming for the IOL implantation. At the end of the case here, I'll show you how to seal that incision. Here comes the IOL going in nice and easy. Deliver that goes in the capsule bag. Beautiful. There it is. Nicely done. And we'll get that again positioned in the bag. Take out the viscoelastic and then we'll seal up that Wong pocket. So we featured this video before or similar video of using that kind of double incision. So again, main incision is just your standard phaco incision. That's a corneal incision. And then the Wong pocket goes right above it. So here's the end of the case. And watch how the hydration goes. Very interesting here. So first things first, place the fluid in the Wong pocket. There you go, in that pocket and inject, and that's gonna cause pressure pushing down on the main incision. Here's a little bit of hydration of the main incision, the lateral walls, and that should do it. Now you can just fill up the AC, get the eye pressurized to a normal physiologic pressure, and you should have a completely sealed incision. So the Wong pocket incision, something interesting to try. I definitely recommend you check it out. I find that for most routine cases, I just don't need it. I just do a standard clean phaco incision, but there are some cases where it certainly makes a good difference here. You can see physiologic pressure at the end of the case and maybe get the pressure just a tiny bit higher. I like the pressure just about uh, high teens, maybe even 20-ish, and then check the incision and you'll see completely watertight. There it is, checking, beautifully sealed up, good pressure. Let's call that a day. Thank you so much for submitting that video. Really enjoyed watching that. Remember, Cataract Coach Podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. It'll teach you how to be a more successful doctor.